Ladies and gentlemen, little folks in Scotland call me the Birdman. The reason? Being able to whistle just like a feathered friend, and shall I say, knowing just a little about them. But I want to tell you how it's done. Whenever I hear a bird whistling that I'm not very sure of, I got a very simple method. I form words to the calls of all birds, and the easiest, the sparrow, the blackbird, the missile thrush, the most difficult of all whistling birds, the robin. You listen to the blackbird whistling, it says quite clearly, chitty jew, chitty jew, knee deep, knee deep, white cap, white cap, pretty jew. I want you to follow my whistling. You'll find I repeat these words. Here's their story. I call him the Whop. Many folks call him Cuddle. Here's their natural call. Just an old parrot. You know her. She says, Pretty Polly, Pretty Polly, makes a peculiar noise with the fruit. This one's going to whistle up in the morning. It's not for me, but don't you heed that. leaving the ground as I've often heard them. Here's some simple calls of the wilds. The calls of hulets. Here's a barn owl. Here's the call of the snowy owl. Here's a most extraordinary bird. Never builds a nest. Flies alone and the only whistling bird known to man and woman that never mates. It's an easy one. Here it is. I have the robin. I have the wren. And the water too with his coat of black and white that whistled to me all the year through when all other birds have ceased. The bird I present for your approval is really the bird that stops whistling first of all whistling birds. But he never whistles in Scotland. The name, the nightingale. Thank you.